We went all this time and we ain't talked about the New York Knicks. The New York Knicks are in the second round for the first time in a decade. But why stop there? This is not me going now and underestimating Jimmy Butler. Okay, but this is the A seed without Tyler Hero, which makes the collapse by the Bucks all that more embarrassing uh, and more of a failure. Um, the Knicks, who, who would have thought that Mitchell Robinson was going to be the best big in a series against the Cavs? Um, the way that Jalen Brunson is playing, like, is this? I, I don't see the Knicks as one and done. I see them as that post headline, that, like the one team nobody really wants to play right now. Yeah. The, the crazy thing about that series, too, and I, it would, would worry me if I'm a Cavs fan, the Knicks just played harder. They just played harder every game. They wanted it more. They played with more urgency. They played with more desperation, even last night, when you would think the Cavs would play with incredible desperation. Not really. Right. right. Um, and I'm with you. I, I, By the way, I'm loving the 90s throwback. Miami versus New York. Oh, yes. Two kind Van of grinding physical teams, man. This is going to be both Van Gundy's. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Um, yeah. yeah. And by the way, Celtics 76ers in the other world. So we might as well be in like 1997. Is it definitely yeah, the yeah. Celtics? Michael? Michael? Hold on. Like, yeah. Is it? Is it <laughs> are we sure? Yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> hey, here, here's a question. Is it? Here, here's the only thing. Is it Celtics in six or is it Celtics in seven? I'm not worried about the Celtics, uh, Michael and Kurt, in this series. I'm worried about them, though, big picture. They're, they're immature. They are an immature yeah. basketball team that lacks focus and toughness. And eventually, you know, look, those teams don't win championships. <laughs> yeah, you probably a team, a team one of those at least. <laughs> no. A, a, te- they, a team with that profile, doesn't, you, you agree, Kurt? I, look, I, I, unlike Doc Rivers, I'm going to get this quote right. They went out and played with their food, right? Like they went out and didn't take that closeout game seriously and got her. Hey, Trey Young did. And by the way, that credit to Trey Young. I don't want to, I mean, the Celtics were horrible and sloppy at the end of that, but that is the best game on both ends I maybe have ever seen Trey Young play. He actually made defensive plays in that game. But the way they got sloppy, the way they just weren't focused from the start, the way they kind of like, I oh, were up by 10 yeah. or 12, that's going to be good enough. You're right. That's not what a championship team does. And by the way, thanks for giving Joel Embiid a couple more days off. Like, it, make sure yeah. he's healthy because that's the one guy who can really, really wreck your plans. If, if so, Mike, check out this stat. Uh, Listen to this yeah. stat real quick, then I'll just pass to you. Yeah. The Celtics, yeah. if they had won that game, if they had won game five versus Atlanta, they had a situation where they would, wouldn't have to get on a plane or leave town for 11 straight days. Wow. Win that 11 days, and instead of that, now they uh, put themselves in a situation where they might be playing a game seven. Now, if they get to a game seven at the Garden, I think they'll win by 30 points. But look, this would this could have so, been avoided. You could have just you could have gone out in Boston on on uh, Tuesday night and had a great time, and now you're so you're in Atlanta on Thursday. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.